Are you normalizing toxic behavior? You know, I've been having some conversations with clients and just other people in general. And I think a lot of times people are being mistreated. But because they've normalized that treatment, they've normalized that behavior, they don't even realize anymore that it's wrong. They've just normalized it. So for instance, perhaps they're in a relationship and their partner speaks to them in an abusive manner and is always belittling them and always insulting them and always in silencing them and always making them feel inferior. Instead of that person standing up for themselves and saying, don't speak to me like that. I know my worth. I'm not going to take it. They've just normalized it. And they say, oh, that's how they always speak to me. As if it's okay. Or perhaps in a work situation, you know, a boss is always giving extra work and always demanding requests that can't be done within the normal work day. And instead of someone saying, well, actually, you know, I'm finished work for today or I don't have the capacity to do that right now or I will get this to you by X, Y, Z. They simply say, yes, okay, I'll get it done. And they take on more and more and more and more instead of setting boundaries and having a conversation about expectations and capacity. And so there's lots of examples where We are normalizing behaviors that really aren't normal. Like it's not okay. Or maybe it's a parent. And the child has done, especially if it's like an adult child, like a a child who's definitely responsible for their actions, right? So it's an adult child and they've done something wrong. But instead of their parent condoning them, they enable it. And they let it slide. And it's like, well, how come you're not speaking out? A lot of times we aren't speaking out about things. And that's why things continue. If someone normally mistreats you, if someone normally does something wrong, if somebody normally offends you, somebody normally takes advantage of you, the reason that's happening is because you haven't told them to stop. You haven't set a boundary and an expectation of how you should be treated. Therefore, they are treating you the way they want to treat you. And I would really encourage you to set up the framework of how people can engage in conversation with you, of how people can treat you. And if they don't fall within those parameters, then you need to walk away and close doors on those relationships or at least reduce access because you deserve to be treated in a way that you feel comfortable with And in a way that aligns with the way that you see yourself and the way that you value yourself. Now, the flip side of this is that if you don't have strong confidence in standing up for yourself, it's going to be really hard to implement this. But I encourage you to still try, set those boundaries and reach out to others who can help you see this behavior is not normal. Because I think a lot of times you're so deep in it, you don't even realize like, wait, I shouldn't be treated this way wait, there's an opportunity for more joy and more peace and more respect? Really? So, you know, that's my message to you. Stop normalizing toxic behavior and continue to serve yourself, your loved ones, and your communities from a full cup.